There's something that happens in college volleyball that when you're at the top of a mid-major conference and a good mid-major conference, there's like this feeding frenzy of good teams that want to schedule you because you want to schedule the way the RPI works. You want to schedule opponents that are going to win in their conference and be near the top of their conference is a huge bonus for you. And we certainly dove headfirst into scheduling about as hard as we possibly could to a point where even the pit head coach told Rob that, uh, yeah, you guys probably overdid it this year. <laughs> we start scheduling and you're like, oh, it'd be pretty cool if UCLA and Cal Poly came to Utah. Holy cow, how awesome would that be? And he wrote on the board all the schools we were going to be playing that preseason. And the first one he wrote was UCLA. And all of our faces were like, what? There's a chance we go 0 and 11. Like there's like we might lose every game here. You know, we're going to play really, really good volleyball teams. Playing UCLA was probably one of the best ways to kick off our season, I'd say, um, that year. Playing at home in front of all of our fans, you know, the herd, it was just awesome. And we're the underdogs still ultimately in that situation. And so when they came into our gym, we just, we played our game and we scored the very first point of that match. I don't even know how we scored it or what happened, but Rob turned down the bench and he said, we're not gonna lose 25-0. And then we won the first set, and it was like, oh, okay, here we go. Oh, that game I will just forever remember. That was amazing. I told everyone in the locker room, I was like, I have a feeling in my gut that we're gonna win this game. And everyone looked at me like, no, like you're so crazy, like that's not gonna happen. We had some of those just kind of eye-opening moments of, wow, we can, we belong and we can be great and we can compete with the best and we can test ourselves against the best teams in the country. And I can't believe, you know, we came through eight and three uh, in that preseason when we had thought, you know, we might, <laughs> we might really struggle here. From the beginning of the season, right at the start of conference, it was like every game was so close. Like we were going to extra points, fifth sets, like we were winning like 22-20 in a fifth set. And felt like teams were were coming to play us and uh, giving us their best shot that they had. Our conference from top to bottom was just better. You know, we had won the conference the year before, but finished 95th or somewhere, 96, I think, in the RPI. The top team was Colorado State in RPI was somewhere around 80, mid 80s. This year we had, you know, in 22, we had UNLV that was in the 20s. We ended up in the 40s. San Jose ended up in the 50s. Colorado State ended up somewhere up there. New Mexico was in the uh, 70s. So we had five teams that year nationally that were better than the best team the year before. The whole conference had just improved. And so then about halfway through, you know, dropped a few games you shouldn't have. I think that ignited our fire even more going into the tournament, just thinking, we, we gave these ones up, but we're not giving them up in the tournament. Like, no one's touching us there. The leadership group coming in and saying that they were going to win the tournament, they came into our offices with so much conviction and so much determination that they gave us no other option other than to be like, yes, you are right. That is what we are doing. We looked at our side of the bracket. To go through the bracket, we had to play teams that we had Lost twice to New Mexico, who was going to be our first round opponent. We'd lost twice to UNLV, and we'd split with San Jose State. I love that confidence from our group, but I'm thinking, man, you guys know what this is going to take. I think our players called it the revenge tour, was what they had dubbed it to go beat uh, New Mexico that had beaten us twice that season, and then to go and beat UNLV, who had also beaten us twice that season. We came in and we were like, okay, we're gonna show you guys who we are and who you guys didn't see that early on in the season. And going into that tournament, it was, okay, like this is our time to finally like show everything that we have to give and kind of play our game. I just don't know that we really understood how good they could possibly be. And it was unbelievable that we just one in three, absolutely hammered New Mexico. You know, hammered a really, really good top 25 UNLV team. You know, we have this mindset of, it's gonna be us at the end. Like, we're gonna hold up this trophy. We're winning all of this. You know, we went in that game. We were on a 2-0 winning streak in the tournament and we lost the first set. Against San Jose, but ran away with the, the match in the next three. And you watch that championship point, the 
Outside hitter from San Jose tips it, so Bia digs it off the net to Jordy, who puts up this unbelievably spectacular set to Tatum from all the way across the court in a perfect spot, and Tatum takes the most principle dialed in, just hammers this ball high with range, line off hands. And then when we landed and I saw that it went off the blocker's hands and I can just see everyone like on the ground, just screaming and hearing our stands. They were just up on their feet. Rob, Mike and I embraced and both Mike and Rob are so big and I'm saying that like I'm not six feet tall myself. And I remember getting in the middle of them and I just like squealed. <laughs> and it felt such a, it was such a rewarding feeling. Uh, to see our players celebrating something that they were so set on accomplishing and then certainly the work that us as coaches put in too and then to see that come um, to be two-time defending champions is really, really cool. You play college volleyball, you want to make it to the NCAA tournament. That is the whole entire reason we play this game, to make it to that national tournament and Seeing our name called, it was like, it was just like such joy, like to see your name um, up on the screen against all these other very incredible, very talented teams. Um, it was like, wow, we, like, we earned our place up there. And it just, it felt like so, I don't know, so surreal, like that it had just come to this and like all the work that we had put in, like here it was. Culmination of such hard work and this such a great experience for this team and that's what you're trying to build towards. How do we win championships and have great experiences by working really hard to accomplish something that's really meaningful and magical?